What's up guys, Noobkiller3579 here and today I wanted to talk to you about some things that really annoy me in Overwatch. I'm playing Overwatch a lot recently, which by the way, if you understand Portuguese, be sure to check out the Overwatch videos of my Bora Bora Squad playlist. They're all in Portuguese, all the Bora Bora Squad playlist is in Portuguese, so sorry for you English speakers. But anyway, I've been loving the game and now that I've played a little bit more extensively, I found that there are some things that are really annoying in it. Now this is in no way a bad review about the game, this is just my list of personal gripes with the game and its player base and as you will see in the video most of these things are not even the game's fault. But without any further ado let's get right into it, cue the music! <laughs> Let's kick things off with the small amount of maps for the base game at release. I'm just gonna start off by saying that the maps are very good and that they're not so few and that's why they're not further on the list, but my problem with them is that we always see the same parts of the same maps because they only support one game mode. 12 maps is not that little, most FPS's release with around the same number, but they usually support multiple game modes and are most of the time not as linear as Overwatch's maps. After only putting some 25 hours in the game, I'm already pretty bored with the current maps and are desperately awaiting for newer ones. Alright, second on the list is the skins and loot box system. I do not have such a big problem with this system as most people have because I like the kind of gambling feel it has. You never really know what you're gonna get and I like that. I think it adds more thrill and than just buying the skins outright. But what I don't like is Blizzard making it very hard and time consuming to get legendary skins through the loot boxes even if you're just trying to accumulate money to buy them. It's just as if they're trying to make the player spend real money on these loot boxes. Oh wait, they are. Now now, it's not such a big problem, because it's just cosmetic items, but even still, I much rather have a way to gain in-game money through playing or have loot boxes that have better odds. Oh, and additionally, the skins feel pretty half-assed, as the developers just change colors of designs that they have already created. I much rather them create different designs and then the player himself could change the color by buying color schemes uh, with the in-game money or even through loot boxes. <laughs> Next up on the list are some of the more, dare I say, stupid ultimates. The ultimates that I'm talking about are those that require almost no skill on the part of the player. The ones that you just have to find a nice group of pressed up enemies and hit Q and bam, play of the game. I'm looking at you Reaper. I know that sometimes these plays can change the course of a game, but honestly the player didn't do much, he just pressed Q. He didn't even have to aim. Soldier 76 ult and Pharaoh's ult are also examples of these more annoying ults, but they are slightly better because in soldiers you have to click and look at the people more or less, and Pharaoh you do have to aim. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, Symmetra. <laughs> Symmetra is one of the most annoying heroes in the game in my opinion. That is mostly due to her turrets. Those things are so annoying and they can absolutely ruin a low health operator like Tracer or Genji. Uh, but Symmetra is not that bad, as to be a good Symmetra it does require a lot of skill and one good Symmetra player can really help out their team and make a game. It's a support uh, hero after all. So that's why our favorite Indian lady is not higher up on the list. Okay, to start off this next one, I just want to say that I mostly play as tanks like Reinhardt, which is my favorite, Winston and Roadhog that I don't even play that much. 
Therefore, one of the things that I get constantly annoyed by is being harassed by fast heroes, especially Tracer. Genji can sometimes be a pain in the ass too, but a good Tracer is a nightmare to fight against. The way she zips around brings a feeling of helplessness, which I'm definitely not a fan of. When you're playing as a tank, you don't really have the range to counter Tracer or Genji, so it's just... it's awful. Alright, now we're getting to the more serious problems of the game's player base. Admittedly, I am one player who plays with few heroes, even in other games like Rainbow Six Siege. And as I've already said, I mostly play with tanks, but when my team needs, I try to diversify a little, like playing with supports or more offensive heroes. One thing that is really frustrating is getting matched up against players that only know how to play with one hero or one type of hero. Most people that I have come across that only play one hero usually pick offensive heroes or solo heroes, like Tracer, Reaper, Hanzo or even Mei. I think that's mostly because these people play alone and it can be very frustrating playing as other types of heroes, especially supports, when you are playing solo. But nonetheless, if you are one of these people, try to differentiate a little bit, because most times your team will need a support or a tank, not a Genji, not a Tracer, not a Hanzo, or not even a Mei, especially if there's other uh, players that are already playing these heroes. <laughs> This item is very closely related to the last one, as most people who only play offensive heroes don't really know how to play as a team. I'm talking about people who don't care about team composition, which I've already talked about in the previous item, and people who refuse to communicate or listen to their teammates' suggestions, and most importantly, people who only play selfishly, with heroes that provide no real benefit to their team apart from getting kills. Overwatch is built on team play and the game really shines when heroes are able to perform combos and play as a true team, so please learn to play as a team. <laughs> And the number one pick for the most annoying aspect of Overwatch is, drumroll please, Mei. Yep, I hate Mei. She's easily the most annoying hero to fight against, as all of her abilities are really irritating. All of them. Be it her main freeze gun, her ice cocoon, her ice wall, or her god awful ultimate. Her whole character design is based on annoying her enemies, and she can be really hard to take on one on one. Even when she's on your own team, she can be a pain in the ass as your teammate may try to wall you. So yeah, may take surprise on this one. That was it from my part, but now I wanna know from you guys. What is the most annoying thing for you in Overwatch? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more of me. But more importantly, leave a comment saying how you think I could improve. Anyway, this was Matt. Peace.